But we get stuff done because we are Wakana, the crown jewel of CBD, as some of you may already know. I'm going to share, let's see, a video with you all because we have somebody, Darius, I haven't seen him uh, before, so he maybe he hasn't seen the video, but we're going to share Yeah, this. I love the video. Me too. While so many industries struggled during the pandemic, the CBD industry grew over 30%. Welcome to Wakana. We offer natural and organically grown CBD products backed by our 30-day bottom-of-the-bottle guarantee. Our proprietary blends contain more than 15 essential oils like black seed and turmeric, which help in creating the ultimate entourage effect. We provide a certificate of analysis on all of our CBD infused products. These tests are conducted by one of the top ISO labs in Florida to ensure quality and potency inside of every batch. We are one of the few companies in the world who conduct full panel testing to confirm our ingestible products are free of pesticides, mold, and other dangerous compounds. The foundation of Wakana is based on four pillars, including health, wealth, legacy, and freedom. According to the current CBD market, there is a tremendous opportunity for you to launch your own dispensary with Wakana. You can retail products online, earning from 20 to 50% of the commissionable volume. By launching an online dispensary, you can win the loyalty of your customers by offering the hottest products like edibles, flour, hair care, tinctures, and topicals. Wakana isn't just a company, we are a movement. During the pandemic, we grew over 100% and expanded our headquarters from 1,000 to over 5,500 square feet. We have over 10,000 customers and a five-star online rating from our satisfied customers and distributors. So what are you waiting for? Start partnering with one of the fastest growing and most reputable CBD companies in the world, Wakana the crown jewel of CBD. It just made sense to me. It was more so about teaching people a more natural way to be healthy. We have the opportunity not only to just get the 40 acres, but also get the mule. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at age 17, and now at age 51, um, I'm finally getting the relief that I need from my arthritis without all of the side effects. I have witnessed thousands of people overcome so many challenges chronic long-term challenges that they've not been able to really overcome with traditional pharmaceutical medication. I wouldn't play golf this year. And normally when I play for the first time after 18 holes, I took my Hempranium uh, in, in the morning, I used some of the pain cream, you know, on my knees, and, you know, it's like I hadn't played at all. Well, Wakana isn't just a company, even though you can say it is a company, but we really formed this from the beginning to be a movement. We knew that the cannabis industry really had not catered to those who unfortunately were the victims of the war on drugs and that was minorities, African-Americans. 
And so in starting Wakana, it was really giving birth to an idea that we as African-Americans, we as minorities, we as black and brown people could absolutely pay, play a big role in this. So we see this as a company, a movement that will absolutely revolutionize and change the cannabis industry and help impact minorities all around the world. All right, so I hope y'all enjoyed those couple videos. We got another one here that I think we're going to play, but I want to kind of know if you guys enjoyed that. I want to hear from y'all a little bit tonight since we got, let's see, got a few more people here. CL Bell, Fredo McDuffie, Leon Bell. One of the other eyes, I think uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that you guys are possibly related. CL <laughs> and Leon. There definitely a possibility there. Oh, but so, tell us what your relation is. If yeah. there is a relation, because there, yeah. there may not even be. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're right, just tell okay. us. Yeah, we want to know. And if you guys hear a little bit of chaos in the background, please just bear with us. We do have little kids running around the house. So you know how that kid meaning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I like to say kids because I don't like to throw our youngest under the bus all the time, but it is 99%. Right. You know, <laughs> it, it's all good. They're only little one time, so you got to let them just be who they are. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. The video tells the story. Yes, yeah, spouses. Hey, that's just like us. <laughs> so welcome. I'm glad you guys joined us tonight here. And Tammy said the video tells us, it really does tell the story. Everything from the, the energy and just the uh the testimonies everything was just amazing i truly love it so we're gonna play a little video right here well, so many industries struggle during the pandemic the cbd industry grew over 30 percent welcome to wakana we offer natural and organically grown cbd products backed by our 30-day bottom of the bottle guarantee our proprietary blends contain more than 15 essential oils like black seed and turmeric, which help in creating the ultimate entourage effect. We provide a certificate of analysis on all of our CBD infused products. These tests are conducted by one of the top ISO labs in Florida to ensure quality and potency inside of every batch. We are one of the few companies in the world who conduct full panel testing to confirm our ingestible products are free of pesticides, mold, and other dangerous compounds. The foundation of Wakana is based on four pillars, including health, wealth, legacy, and freedom. According to the current CBD market, there is a tremendous opportunity for you to launch your own dispensary with Wakana. You can retail products online, earning from 20 to 50% of the commissionable volume. By launching an online dispensary, you can win the loyalty of your customers by offering the hottest products like edibles, flour, hair care, tinctures, and topicals. Wakana isn't just a company, we are a movement. During the pandemic, we grew over 100% and expanded our headquarters. I'm sorry, guys, I don't know why it went back. To the original one that we played, I do apologize. I didn't catch it as soon as I would have caught it. I had to deal with a little bitty individual in the individual in this home that's being a little unruly here, trying to have me have gray hair earlier than what I need to be having it. Uh, you don't even have hair, so we're good <laughs> yeah, on that. I got hair on my face, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. let's just go ahead and talk about Wakana and, um, you know what our goal is as a company and as a as a movement as a group okay so as some of you may know some of you may not we're a movement we're not we don't really consider ourselves to just be a company because at the end of the day you know a company is one thing you know a movement is going to make a change it's going to make an impact on communities and whatnot and we actually exist to help in the negative stigma that has caused communities around the world to suffer and lose out on the health wealth and benefits of the cannabis plant. Yeah, because you know, for years, um, and actually still federal law says that marijuana is um, a schedule drug, meaning that it sits there with heroin and cocaine as that it has no medical, 
benefits. Mm. Um, but we have seen with research that that is just a false statement. Um, they have seen so many different health benefits come from the cannabis plant. And so, and you know, um, you know, like in the video, it talked about like with the war on drugs, how minorities were really the ones hit with that the hardest, you know, they put in the most um, time for that, you know, three strike rule. So you have all these individuals um, for cannabis, mm -hmm. which is totally beneficial, you know, and has so many different um, benefits to it. And still it's, it's really mind boggling because still to this day, many people are still suffering from laws that are completely outdated. They've been, you know, disproved as far as like, you know, there was, I don't know if you guys remember some of some of the um, cannabis craze videos they put out. Um, you may have heard of them. They definitely came out before my day to where they depicted everybody using cannabis as somebody that was gonna, you know, that was gonna harass you, gonna, you know, try to kill you and harm you and whatnot, because, you know, it's just propaganda that they had behind the plant. Or even, um, you know, like a big push was that cannabis was like the gateway drug. Yeah. Like it was the start to like drug abuse and, and things like that. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's really sad that that uh, was pushed like that to, you know, put that in people's mind that this has no, this will not help you. This will not give you any kind of uh, relief. It's true. So, so as we talked about this, this being a movement, we definitely can't talk about what kind of and the movement itself without talking about the four reasons why we even have this company, why we have this movement going here. We have our lovely Dr. Rita McGuire. She's an OB-GYN. She's been in the, in the field for, she actually has delivered over 10,000 babies now. It was 8,000 mm. just wow. before I realized, uh, but it's, <laughs> that it's, is over, amazing. it's over 10,000. You know, could you imagine just like being around you know, like 10,000 kids, yeah. like in your lifetime and be there, like bringing them in, like helping bringing them into yeah, the world. Them bring, like, that's I think phenomenal. that is amazing because you think not all 10,000 of those babies were like easy deliveries, mm -hmm. you know, like that's like hours. And, you know, if it's anything like, um, our son, I was in labor for 24 hours. And I mean, it was like, really, it was crazy, you know? So it's like, and it, the doctor really like makes or breaks that um experience like mm -hmm. so much you know people will have like real horror stories when they have bad doctors that you know like are not really there and supportive of them definitely so i just cannot like even fathom um helping with eight thousand babies same here so we also have dr patricia van pelt who's also our president She's actually a senator as well. And this woman is so like, guys, like I know you see her, maybe you feel like, oh man, like she would be really like intimidating. She's a senator, but she's so down to earth and such a loving person and just so kind and genuine and really passionate about what kind of, so we definitely like appreciate her. We definitely have um, literally like a power team, like a super, like a team of superheroes almost running with kind of here. And then we got, Melissa Boston, A.T.O.Y.A.B. It's actually my mother. It's our CEO. I can literally probably do the whole Zoom tonight talking about this woman here, but we'll try to wrap it up. You know, <laughs> that's not, you know, we have to definitely. Um, so she actually fired her boss at the tender age of 33. Um, I was actually a teenager. That was the first time I heard that term, like, you know, and um, she definitely, she's always had such a, like a spirit to really just kind of, like, I want to change, not necessarily, I won't say change the world, but I want to make an impact on the world. Like, I want to help. I want to be successful, but I want other people to be successful as well. I don't want to just take it all and run to the bank with it. I want to, like, create opportunities, create jobs, create a space, a safe space for people. Like, she's always had that type of heart. And it's just, it's beautiful to me as her son to see all of her dreams coming true through Wakana. And I just, um, really, I'm really just looking forward to the future of our company and our movement. And then we have our CSO, Phyllis Nash. She's definitely like another mother to me. I've actually known her more than a decade and a half. A lot of people refer to her as the midwife of Wakana. If you come in contact with her and you follow her advice, 
you will be successful. Okay. She's duplicated success time after time after time after time. She got the recipe. I know mm-hmm. you like you know they say if it ain't if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. Well, that's <laughs> that's what the, that's what her recipe to success, you know, is like uh if you got it, you come across a good recipe for some good cookies or brownies, like you know, you don't want to really tweak it, like do it as it is and it's gonna be a success. So yeah, you know, like your um grandma or your mom, they have a recipe book that's like you can tell which recipes are really good because they're battered and abused, you know, they've got yeah. stains on it. Like she, you know, has done it over and over again. So yeah. and she's so, helped other people. Like it's not so even many. just her, but yeah, she's definitely helped so many people through that process. Yes, yes, yes. So we definitely appreciate these four ladies. I definitely uh have to always we always have to just pay homage to why we're even here on this call tonight yeah actually. how many how many cbd companies you know can you um find that have a backing by so much medical professionals mm. you know that really help use it for their personal patients you know, so Wakana has a medical advisory board and, you know, we talked about Dr. Rita, she's the chief medical officer, but she has um, psych doctors, pharmaceutical, um, you know, doctors, anybody from, you know, RN to uh, chiropractors to, you know, like just all these different people that have this really great background in medicine in different ways. And they all love the product they all want to share it with their family they all want to share it with their patients and different things like that which is just like fantastic definitely actually i i believe um the newest member of the medical advisory board is sitting next to me in this room these uh this is like kind of the older slide but hopefully we'll see your face on there soon our newest <laughs> newest member here. yeah that is exciting yeah Let's see. So this is the farm bill kind of, as you can see, it was brought forth to the table in 2014 and it wasn't really passed until 2018. And it's pretty much was implemented to generate and protect research into him and which kind of crept into what we're, what it is we're doing now, even though it's still highly regulated and really like, you know, they're really funny. I would say that's probably the, the, the safest word to use on a platform, funny acting when it comes to uh to the plant is still but luckily you know we have a little bit of grace with this 2018 farm bill and uh, it pretty much treats the plant like any other agricultural commodities so they have to remain compliant in everything that you do so it's not really it's not free range with the plant you definitely have to remain compliant with the you know local laws whether it's like state and whatnot but um you know, this these hemp was actually like very, 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 very heavily regulated and ridiculed. As you know, you know, even some of the minor ways that we look at now is like, you know, it's an everyday thing to for me to go in my cabinet and get my CBD oil. Well, not too long ago, that wasn't even a thing. So, yeah. And, you know, it's like it's it's uh, went from legal to illegal to legal, yeah. you know, so um, because before. Oh, thank you, Cherie. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> She's like, congratulations. Um, you know, hemp was like a really big um, crop. And we think like in, um, you know, when America like started mm. and, you know, it was a majority of what was used for um, clothing. It was a big um, medicine too Hmm. like they just like how you know you watch that video and it was like it helped me with my chronic pain it helped me with my anxiety it helped me with my sleeping like see it's like all these different things and you think how can one thing help with all these different things um but you know that's how the uh, and um you get into pharmaceutical companies and they want to make money and we can't have something that helps with everything because we want to make money so we want to make like each drug to help these each specific things and then we make more money because you have to buy oh i need this for sleep i need this for anxiety i need this for pain and um it really becomes uh political you know and so it's just awesome to see how we're kind of you know people are like i it's not like anti-pharmaceuticals you know sometimes those are really necessary 
Um, but it's also being able to give people multiple different avenues or even in conjunction with their medicine to get them um, back on track. Makes sense. And at least having an option too, you know. Yeah, this everybody should have options. Revenue, um, this is our projected growth, I like to say, for the CBD industry as a whole. As you see, 2019 was when we got started. That was just a little bit more than $5 billion. We're kind of, you know, just in the first section of 2022 here. Uh, slightly, you can almost call that $10 billion, but it's just a little bit less than $10 billion here. 2022 is a projection. So you just fast forward just two more years and you're double. into <laughs> 2024, literally a little bit more than $20 billion. So, I mean, it's crazy when you really break it down, because I just remember the first time I actually seen this slide, it was in 2019. And, you know, I just just to kind of see and obviously we watch the growth of CBD and whatnot as a whole, not just the growth of Wakanda, but we watch, you know, what's going on with CBD, just general, like, you know, generally speaking. And it's, it's neat to really be um, just in the middle of of this industry boom and people become, you know, seeing people become uh, aware of the plan and lives being changed and whatnot. Skeptical people, people that would have been like, man, look. I don't want to hear nothing about it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want no, you know, like literally like there's so many people that have been literally like awoken by like, you know, just try it, you know, just it takes a little bit of unlearning and a little bit of learning. Mm -hmm. And then um, after that, you know, the sky is literally the limit. So one thing I really like leading from that, you know, leading into this, I really like this chart here because as you see, this has the CBD industry over here. It kind of breaks down close to what is, generally speaking, close to $7 billion. It's a little bit more than that now, but that's a good, um, modest number, right? Well, we go over here to essential oils. This is oh, almost three times more than this number of an industry, right? Okay, we're going to go over here to the, let's start with the hair care. Look at this. That's, I mean, exponentially, like you can't even compare this to uh you know like this is is literally like the horizon is just broadening and broadening and broad okay well okay that's nice 87 billion right well you go over to skincare 190 billion dollar industry okay weight loss i'm sure you guys get what i'm getting at but then once you get into the wellness and immune industry which is definitely by far the number one. That's a three point four trillion dollar industry. Yeah, I don't even you know. You can't what even compare trillion looks like. You can't even <laughs> compare billions to trillions. So it's like when you think of it, like wow, okay. But what what does this have to do with Wakanda? Well, we're definitely going to get to that. But when you really think about it, CBD has many benefits for hair, skin, your well overall wellness, even weight loss. Yeah, I'm so going to check this. Uh, yep, 10 billion. Yeah, you're right. It's definitely 7 billion is um, definitely like a very modest, modest, like low ball number. Do you want to talk about what CBD actually is? Yeah, so CBD stands for cannabidiol. It's a compound that naturally occurs in industrial hemp. Out of the more than 85 different cannabinoids, it is the second most common next to Delta 9, which is um, your THC. Unlike THC, uh, CBD is non-psychotropic and produces a health without the high. Um, I think this is really, uh, really great, like how it summarizes that. Because, you know, we had went on a, a vending event. And, you know, some people, you know, they, they're like, I've heard about CBD, but I, like, I'm fascinated, but I don't really know much about it. Or some people were, like, kind of hesitant, too. Like, mm -hmm. well, you know, I do... Um, like I need something for my anxiety, but I don't want to be high. And, you know, you really have to talk to people like, well, majority of the time, you know, marijuana is the ratio between THC and CBD is different. It's really high in THC and really low in CBD. And that's why you get that psychoactive effect, which, which you can just see right here when it talks about ingredient to THC. So, you know, that stimulates the receptors in the brain, releases, uh, you know, the pleasure center, uh, releases higher than normal levels of dopamine, and that's what creates the high. Um, now, you know, 
our products are in a different ratio. They're high in CBD and low in THC when we're talking about like the power products. So that means that it's not intoxicating. It stimulates receptors in the brain that regulates pain, anxiety, nausea, and so much more. Um, medical applications include anti-inflammatory and pain relief. CBD has shown to be a great anti-inflammatory. So if you are a really big, um, like ibuprofen, um, Mobic, um, Voltaren, those type of things, those are NSAIDs. Those also help with inflammation. That's kind of like the same thing. So you probably, you could kind of trade off your ibuprofen for some cbd because they're, it's a great um right. anti-inflammatory it so like a fair trade. <laughs> yeah and uh you don't yeah. have to worry about you know toxicity to the liver and all that so <laughs> now, even like going deeper into it i love how this chart breaks down the benefits like kind of even more so in detail as you can see like cbd pretty much everything on the chart that you see is dang near covered, right? Well, you got to figure all these other uh, cannabinoids that are in the plant. Well, we have CBN also in our products, mm -hmm. right? And that may help improve sleep. It definitely does because I take it for sleep myself. Antifungal properties when you talk about CBG, right? So let's kind of even go a little bit further into it. Well, some people ask, you know, what's the point if you're going to just have 0.3% of tac in your products what's the point well the point is like see like you can get the benefits of tac without having like a very high concentrated amount if that makes sense right. like so therefore like the pain reducing and the nausea and vomiting or whatnot and uh even tacv another cannab cannabinoid um that can increase increase bone growth and whatnot even the seizure aspect We've seen many people that actually, you know, ranging from just, what is it, the epileptic, mm. where you, uh, and then the more minor seizures, like the ones that you can't even tell yeah, you know, they're it, having. Yeah, like absence seizures. Right. Mm. You're going to make me say, I was trying not to say <laughs> seizures because it's <laughs> really hard for me to say, but, um, you know, you know, I, I think I had said that last week. It's like, that like eating an apple, you know, like I feel like it's related to CBD and THC. Like you can eat the whole apple with the skin mm -hmm. and, you know, it's still like really good for you. The skin has, you know, great minerals and um, fiber and all those different things. So it's great to eat the whole apple. But if you peel the apple and you just eat the apple with no peel, like the apple is still good and it still has nutrition to it, you know? And so, Sometimes that's when people get kind of stuck on the difference between like the pure and the power or whether to have THC or whether to not. Um, but I mean, like if you look at um, help reduce pain, how there's so many different cannabinoids that help with that. So they're like all working together. It's just one big team. I'm just responding here. Let's see. So, um, Oh, yeah. So if you're at, wondering like how, like how though does this work? How does this work in your body? Um, where does it work? All these different things. Well, uh, in the nineties, when they were doing some research on, um, cannabis and how it affected the body, they found that we actually have receptors in our body and it's called the endocannabinoid system. So, you know, we have a cardiovascular system, we have a limb system, we, you know, like, so um, we have all these systems in our body that we know about, we've been taught in school and, and everything, but have we been taught about the endocannabinoid system? No. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's really coming out. I, it's a really low percentage, but there is a, a small percentage of medical schools that doctors are going to, I don't know exactly, they'll have to look and see what schools those are, that they're starting to teach this. Mm. But um, in saying that, that also means that uh, you as a 
as a patient or, as, you know, as a person, you know, educate yourself in this so that, you know, when you're, you're, you know, talking to your doctor about you want to try CBD and they don't really understand why, well, that's probably because they haven't learned about the endocannabinoid system. So they don't really know or understand the benefit of CBD. Mm. But um, it's definitely amazing because we have a system that these cannabinoids um, connect to. Mm. And if we are like dysregulated in the endocannabinoid system, we can see health problems. So that's why people get so much different relief because if our, de- we're, our cannabinoids are, you know, we're depleted, you know, we need to supplement that, you know, it's no different than vitamin D. If you have low vitamin D, they, they want you to take vitamin D because there's, there's problems that can occur when your vitamin D is so low. And so we just need to really think about like, we're, we are supplementing our body. We're giving our body what it's really asking for. Hmm. So I'm just going to go back here. I'm going to move this chat box out. If I could ask somebody, maybe Bernadine, if you wouldn't mind, could you screenshot this for me? And maybe uh, I would do it, but I, I don't think, I don't want to disrupt the meeting or nothing. CL Bell wanted a copy of this, um, the slide, if you could screenshot it. Maybe even if you sent it to me, I could get, let me see, not yet, efficient on screenshot. Yes, email is. Okay, so I got the email here. So definitely I'm going to copy that right now so that way I don't lose it. So somebody could just screenshot it. I could email it um, to CL Bill after the call is over with. That would be just fantastic. So I'm going to move the chat out the way. I think somebody will. Yeah, if you're able to screenshot it, if you can just put in the chat done, uh, we'll know that it was done and we can we can move on to the next slides. Yeah, I'm not as I don't really use Mac Max. I don't really actually know how to screenshot <laughs> it from this on the phone. I can do that anytime. But let me see right. somebody got in here done. Nice. Leon Bell got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Teamwork. <laughs> yeah, we know all about that. Definitely. <laughs> okay, we got a couple people. Thank you. So these are correction. Okay. I see the Yahoo was okay. Gotcha. I'm gonna copy that. Then so these are some of our products, which and some literally. Some are literally some. Like <laughs> we have a pretty big line. You know, beauty is what catches the eye initially, and you kind of see what's on the inside. And I, that's what I really think of when I see our products. We have a very, I feel a very sleek, sensual, like a very nice, modern, and yet, and it looks like us, you know what I'm saying? Like when we look at classy. everything, very like very classy and rural and um, everything from the gummies, they all, all of our products have their own personalities and their own flow, but everything flows together. And that's one thing that I like, as you see on the slide, like everything is kind of like mixed in different type of products and they all look like they're in one big family, you know? (laughs) Yeah. And it's like important because when you're, um, you know, if you're a distributor or customer or whatever, you know, like you, you want your customers to like, look at your products in Mm. awe too, you know? And as a customer, like, um, sometimes I buy stuff because I I like the way they look. (laughs) And and honestly, I'm even the same way. I can be the same way with books. Like if, if there's a book, that has a you know a phenomenal cover <laughs> i may actually you know that may be hey look i don't need to read the description i see the title <laughs> i see the cover like i'm gonna like this book so you know presentation really is yeah. important they really work you know really hard on on making the products look good and not even just look good but that the products themselves are good products you know we had talked earlier about the money aspect of how Wakana can hit so many different categories Mm. and um and it's just awesome to look at how cbd it touches in so many like health you know um categories you know like i said anti-anxiety depression um you know people use even not necessarily just the gummies but sometimes if weight loss the problem problem is that you don't eat her, you know, and if, or anxiety or something that's related to that. And if the CBD products can kind of help you with the emotional side of that, like how, you know, health then just follows. 
That's interesting. Yeah. I don't think I ever really thought of it from that perspective. Honestly, these are some of our a mixture of some of our power products. Actually, uh, this is our Hemp MD, our strongest tincture actually that we have, um, and then we have our full spectrum gummies, which has 0.3% THC, as we talked about. This is our flower, also uh, smokable. This, this in, we also sell it in a smokable joint, which unfortunately we still do not have yet. We're waiting on our supplier to get that shipment in. I'm sure, like, I'm really, really hoping it's going to be a lot because it's going to fly out. And oh, I we, know. <laughs> like, seriously. You'll have it for one day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm pretty sure we're going to, uh, the, the right. amount of volume that we're going to get in this time, I don't, I think will be, will be good. And then the pain cream, of course, this is our actually, actually our number one seller. Like when we had our vendors event, this it literally like, I'm like, wow, flying off the shelf. Yeah. It didn't even make sense. Literally. Like, um, I, you know, we brought her actually anybody that's out there thinking of doing a future vending event. We brought, uh, you know, an unopened jar of the, of the cream. And then we had a package of Q-tips and then we let people get there. You know, we got samples for everybody and gave them the Q-tip and let them rub it in anywhere they had pain. So that way they can experience like firsthand. So it's not something you're just telling them, Hey, buy this from me and go home this was really like people were putting it on and they just were like this is crazy like i already feel you know relief yeah, really? literally because we had one woman that was like so how long am i gonna feel it? it's gonna be like after the event when i get home <laughs> later on i was like no just you're, you're gonna feel you're it in for a surprise <laughs> and literally she put it she had carpal tunnel from counting money she worked at a bank and she rubbed it down all in her uh like upper wrist and mm -hmm. hands and then she was really blown yeah we had really great feedback and it's, it's touching because yeah. i i hate to see people suffer and then all the times like you see people suffering and you can't really do anything about it so it's, it's nice just to be a little bit of help to somebody you know right you're not a doctor you can't prescribe medicine <laughs> but and you're not like um i don't know if it's emotional distress you're not a therapist yeah. you know but you know you can really offer somebody and be like well i'm not any of these things and i can't you know write you a script or sit down and give you a counseling session mm -hmm. but i do have a great product Definitely. that you might really like and be interested in and it that was just a really great way the q-tip and and you know giving them a little bit of that cream was just a really great way to get um some like really hands-on mm -hmm. like experience with the product firsthand yeah and actually this is a quote I'm so sorry. I have no idea how that even, but look, we were the, the to good thing is yeah, we really were talking to ourselves. <laughs> the good thing is guys, we actually, or we got a couple candidates for, um, a new internet service. Actually we're getting, because <laughs> yeah. we live in the boonies once again. So there's not really a lot of options, but there's more options now than what were available. So we're getting that changed because we can't, this, this dial up it's not really dial up but it's a wire yeah I ethernet whatever it is it's, it's not oh it just really drives me crazy get but, a new house and get new internet so yeah, definitely. we'll have a party you guys are all invited <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you thank you you two look amazing please ask participants to drop their name and who invited them or sponsor's name definitely so anybody in the chat you know our guests and whatnot that we have if you can please chime in we won't bite, we promise. Let us know. Yeah, you know, we love to. It, is it your first time coming? Who invited you? Are you having a good time? You know, just kind of, you know, tap in with us. We love to hear from people. Yeah, tell us what you're interested in. Uh, definitely let us know if you have any questions. Oh, um, for sure. Yeah, we would love to answer anything that you have to say. There is not that saying it's a bad question. Speaking of questions, this is a general question that I get a lot, usually on the lines, like, you know, people ask me all the time, like, you know, what, what can be good for inflammation and sleep? And it's literally like, any, like whatever you pretty much want to use, like, you know, it's crazy. Like literally, uh, 
for those that are, you know, that go through drug testing, or maybe they just really, there's some people that may have like a THC sensitivity where they don't really feel comfortable using THC. I always recommend the pure because that's less than 0% THC and you still get all the benefits. 900 milligrams in this bottle here, as you see. And then our power gummies, that has a 0.3% THC. Phenomenal for inflammation, anti-inflammation. And then even our Delta 8, which is, so I don't know if you guys recall the slide where we talked about Delta 9 briefly. This is the cousin of Delta 9. This is, it's a lot more mild. It doesn't offer that psychoactive, like really like, you know, um, over like, you know, just like over too much high, like overly high. Like you just feel really relaxed. Delta 8. But it definitely is a product that if you do not like, want that feeling whatsoever then you probably should stay away from it yeah definitely. um oh i'm sorry I didn't right. it. um because it doesn't like he said doesn't give you like a a high like if you know like you're smoking a joint but it does make you very 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 relaxed um and yeah sleep very well and then of course koj is a combination between uh, CBD and it has like horny goat weed and it can definitely be used um, for men and women. Bernadine, send me some diamond life joints and I'm medicated. Some diamond, that's nice. So did so did you enjoy them when she sent you those? Uh, that's very how sweet of her to send those out to you. Definitely, like, you know, honestly, like, our products are one of the best things to give us gifts. Like, that's really, like, our family, friends, like, it's usually a gift bag of some gummies, some pain cream, or, you know, something along the lines of anything that maybe they can use. Yeah, right on, right on. Yeah, you know, um, my, sis uh, my sister, she had surgery on her neck, and she was having a lot of pain. And even, you know, she was taken, they gave her some um, pain medication, but she still was just really suffering. Uh, so I gave her the pre-roll and she was a little bit nervous about the pre-roll, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but then she tried it and she said she really liked it. It, you know, it relaxed her to the point where she, you know, could sleep and those different type of things. So it's great. I think people think that if you um, go like holistic or something, then you can't do like traditional medicine, but she definitely used those two together to help like regulate her pain. Uh, there was like a research study that I was reading that said that taking CBD along with like pain medication um, actually helped the person use less pain medication. Mm. Um, and that's kind of important because we have like a huge opioid crisis, you know, people are, um, really dealing with addiction and things like that. And so if we can help people with their pain, but they don't have to use as much pain medication, then um, you're less likely to get addicted. True. It, it, it's a shame, really, like how we literally spiraled out of control with these uh, these opioids. And it don't seem like there's any... Like, how do we get out of this? You know, well, this, this is one avenue, but I feel like we can't expose fast enough. I'm like, you know, more people need to know that there is there is hope out there. There is something that you can do to, you know, to help supplement some of your pain and whatnot. And these are some of our vapes and whatnot. And this is our smokable pre-roll that was mentioned a couple of times and also in the chat. So this right here, this is our Raspberry Jane vaping oil. And this is our hypnotic, which is our definitely our most popular, most therapeutic of all of our um, vapes and whatnot. You won't actually see these on the website, but you can actually, um, you know, you can dial into our you customer service hurry. line. You can give me a call <laughs> and I can actually process the order for this for you. Unfortunately, they're not on the site, but we're definitely, let's see, great idea, Sheree. Tammy created baskets with our love pack. Oh, that's that's a good idea. Maybe we should have did well, that. Well, because Sheree said the Valentine's package uh, is good package. for... Ah, mm -hmm. oh, that's a great yeah, idea. That is a great idea. Honestly. so You're yeah. giving us such good ideas. Right, yeah, always get absolutely. good ideas. Yeah. You know, when we were at our uh, vending event, another question that we got too was sometimes like, 
the decision of which products to use, mm -hmm. like in the sense of like to vape or to use tinctures or um, gummies. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, sometimes a question is like how fast you're needing it to work, you know, um, sorry, I'll share you some of your business, but like Tariq was uh, dealing with having like panic attacks, like really high anxiety. So gummies are, are good in the sense of, with that, like if you like take in the morning and night, like a, a scheduled thing, but for like those immediate um, attacks, like tinctures and vapes are really great because it's more of a right away. It doesn't have to go through the digestive system you know, the, the uh, tincture is going to go under the tongue. So it's sublingual and it's going to get into your system really fast. And also the same thing with vapes or pre-rolls. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I will say like, you know, um, I know, you know, many people that are on different type of psych meds, whether it's for depression, anxiety, things that stem from PTSD. Maybe you were in the military, but maybe you weren't. Cause you know, a lot of times people only associate PTSD with, you know, the military, but really there's so many different forms, uh, so many different ways P PTSD can manifest. And I didn't really know, I was, I didn't know about that. You know, that wasn't really taught. So when I was suffering from different things and had that, had, you know, all the type of stuff going on with me, as I got older, it all kind of made sense. Like, wow, like, you know, this whole time, like you're thinking, oh, what can you, how can you be traumatized? You weren't in war. Like you didn't go to Afghanistan, but literally like, you know, sometimes just being here in America as, you know, black men, black women, like it's traumatizing that itself, you know? So it's like when you add in all the other ills and the different things that you kind of deal with that tend to kind of, you kind of tend to sweep under the rug because you like, you know, you just go through life and sometimes you don't deal with things. Well, if you don't deal with things, they find a way to deal with you is one thing I always say. And that's kind of what happened, you know, definitely caught up with me. I have a 420 package. Uh, see, uh, I love interaction in the chat. Because then it's, it's, it's like we're not the only ones talking. Like we're having a group discussion, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> we're uh, talk about the hair care. Yeah. Line. So, you know, hair care, um, I mean, you can't tell right now. Like I said, I was working out. But I have really curly hair. Um and I really like using this line a, a lot. So, you know, we have literally a whole line from shampoo conditioner. I really like the leave-in detangler because it's very light. Um, sometimes I can't have like things that are too, too heavy. Um, our daughter also, she has sister locks. And so the leave-in detangler is really nice for her hair to like just to freshen it up and it, like I said, it's not heavy. So it really works really, really well. Mm. Uh, you know, even the Oud body oil, we, we love, especially in the winter time, like when it's like the January, like it's so cold and your skin is just crying because, you know, like you've washed your hands so many times and it's just cracking. I really like the Oud body oil. Mm. Many times before I would go to bed, I would just like, you know, put it all over my hands and go to bed and wake up in the morning and my, my skin felt like it was, you know, really like healing. So, uh, it's a good product. If I got any Bob brothers in the chat, <laughs> the Ooh body oil, I was, I can't comment on the rest of the hair cause I don't No, You use you know, a, um, like, man, I, not, use it on your beard. Yeah. But it's, you can't get the full effect. You know, <laughs> the Ooh body oil is good. Brothers, you take the Ooh oil, rub it in and just, slick down the hair you know <laughs> not the hair the head and uh definitely gives you that um the michael jordan effect kind of you know minus minus the height <laughs> <laughs> let's see we got our hair trichologist on monday at 2 30 central time yeah we do have a hair a whole call amazing call that's um that really goes into into detail with you know the di different benefits of our products and how CBD works within the hair mm. and whatnot with different things like alopecia, different stuff. People go.
call because it's very informative and you never know who you can empower just with them, some extra information. So I definitely um, encourage Yeah, and that. I think they um, also talking about alopecia, uh, they talk a lot, I think, to COVID, one of the side effects is that it causes hair loss mm -hmm. afterwards. Um, I've had uh, COVID twice and um, the first time I had it, I mean, I have a lot of hair, but it was making me nervous, like how much hair I was losing. And, um, and at that time we didn't have the hair line, but you know, like I enjoy using the hemp powered hair. That was the first hair care line product that, you know, I had used. Mm -hmm. And, um, so then when the second time that I had it, you know, like I'm nervous about like, um, you know, like going through those things again. So I, you know, really like using the product, you know, I'm a, you know, you just have to hope like to aid you with mm -hmm. like getting you through that process. That's true. That's true. So these are some of our seasonings actually. And then some of our other culinary products right now, we're currently out of the butter, but we do have the water soluble, which can be mixed with your mocktails and your wines and even just your regular water if you want. And then our culinary plus, which is a good way to get your CBD in with some of your food. And then this is our line of our seasonings. My favorite personally is right behind the, the flavor king is the garlic mm, fire. I love it's really garlic. delicious on anything. The chili Even line popcorn. <laughs> is delicious as well. It's just that this one is more so like, you know, you kind of like garlic fire is more to me is more you can put on it literally everything. And that's just my taste, though. You know, some people put chili lime on anything. So it's kind of like, you know, just kind of you know, pick what it is that you kind of, is kind of geared towards you. I like a little spice and I love garlic. So that's why I kind of lean towards garlic fire. Flavor King is good for, you know, whether you're, you know, maybe you eat plant-based meats and whatnot. Maybe you eat, you know, burgers and steaks. Really, really, really good addition to a nice juicy steak or a nice, you know, I put it on my plant-based burgers and it's, it's very, very just flavorful and good way to get that CBD in as well. This is actually another product, these three here, another product that you can't get on the site at the moment. So unfortunately, you got to talk to this dude here <laughs> and, you know, or it'll either be me, Sylvia Covington or my wife. She's working, sharing uh, Thursday and Friday. She uh, definitely she tends to the calls and whatnot. So more likely to be one of us. If you're interested in the any of the seasonings, feel free to just reach out so that way we can. I really I love about um what kind of CBD products is that there is so much variety mm -hmm. you know like if um you want to cook if you want to especially like you know you're a chef even a home chef or whatever you want to make an experience for people because um people love experiences mm -hmm. so you know like to come over to somebody's house and have an infused dish and you know that didn't show the um they also have like a delta eight infusion oil mm -hmm. so like you can really offer like such a great sitting down experience and um i don't know just a really great bonding time with your friends and family and just show them how good you can kind of incorporate you know food and cbd together that's true and this is our line of our essential oils actually as you see we don't have like, you know, there's some places that may have, they may have dozens and dozens of different type of, we have the most, like, I feel like the most necessary, like the essential of the essential oils. So our tea tree oil, black seed, which is very honest, like we had, um, we've used it for colds and whatnot. And I really love just the, uh, the anti like viral like properties of it, you know, and the peppermint oil, frankincense, eucalyptus, really can kind of open up some of that congestion, decongest you and whatnot. And so, yeah, we definitely like to just have something just for everybody, you know, like mm -hmm. something nice. So this is our flat belly lifestyle 2.0 plant-based for your blood type, as you see. Uh, this is something that we actually more so recently, I won't say recently launched, but like we're really like taking to another level. Cause now like we do bio scans, which is a full health report. It shows you like a really extensive detail on what's going on within your body. 
And I definitely encourage anybody that's in the Chicago area to definitely get a scan. And if you ever stopping through, you know, give us a call and figure out, you know, we'll be done very shortly. Okay, I'll be there in just a minute. We got a tired little baby that's ready to <laughs> take a nap. You know, when they, when they start begging to take a nap, <laughs> you know we're tired. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is... So these are Sharon's before and after. So this, this is literally just from October to January here. And this is like literally phenomenal because actually her weight loss already started in October, like before October 2021. And then by January, as you can see, this was after the cleanse and whatnot. Um, just like a big difference, like even like her overall size and just feeling more confident and even like younger in the face. And I just, and we've seen these results like duplicated, you know, by so many people. And it's just really amazing to be able to see. Grateful for those when he gets older. Yeah, definitely he will be grateful for those when he gets older. I'm I'm grateful for any time I get a nap, I'm extensively grateful. These are my results from after the cleanse, actually. Uh, I don't remember when I took this. This picture, I believe, maybe in the, I don't know, the beginning of January, something like that. And I lost close to 25 pounds during the cleanse. I definitely had a, I've always struggled with my weight. That's always just been a thing. I've always been able to kind of jump on a diet and lose some weight. But it was, I never could sustain it because it wasn't a sustainable lifestyle that I like that I was doing. So it was kind of like I would stop doing it and then it would come right back mm -hmm. with a little bit of extra something, you know, extra. <laughs> like you go to the bank and take out a two thousand dollar loan, everything every, they give you extra five hundred dollars. But this ain't the same thing interest. because this is unwanted. <laughs> this is interest weight, you know what I'm saying? That I I didn't ask for, but but here we are now, and you know, I'm on a journey actually it's almost we're almost due for another cleanse and i'm really looking forward to it really really looking forward to it we've stayed plant-based actually since we got off the cleanse and yeah we might continue our april weight loss or something. beginning in april and uh see our daughter our oldest anaya she's turning 10 march 14th so i'm, I'm not gonna do the <laughs> cleanse during her birthday because we're gonna take her to a really good vegan restaurant and i ain't gonna be on a cleanse going to you know Wow, 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 wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. And definitely it is a lifestyle change. It's it's not about the quick gratification of, you know, losing 10, 15, 20 pounds. It's more so of uh like uh just you know, crafting a lifestyle mm -hmm. and info on who to contact on plant-based. Let me see on plant-based burgers. So we get ours most of the time. We uh we get our plant-based burgers from Fresh Time. I don't know if, if you're familiar with the Fresh Time. Whole Foods, they have a really, really good line. I think it's like Dr. Dr. Pagers. Dr. Prager. Prager, or... something like that. Really delicious. Those are really good. And they uh, have relatively like clean mm -hmm. like ingredients. It, it is really, really good. Definitely. The, it's definitely not something you want to eat every day because you have to always keep in mind it's still a processed food. But it's just having like alternatives mm -hmm. and whatnot. Because you think it's a lifestyle. So like to mm -hmm. say, <laughs> I'm never going to eat a burger again. is right. just really unrealistic. Right. Um, so, you know, you're just finding um, alternatives and things that still taste really good. Tariq does a really great job. Like, you know, we showed you all those um, seasonings and things. Like he will season up that plant-based burger and it has like, really good texture and we load up our burgers just like you would go to um i don't know burger king mcdonald's whatever well mcdonald's is, I, they don't really load it up but <laughs> but you know and you just really you feel like you're really indulging and you're really mm -hmm. doing your body good because it, you're getting so much fiber you're getting all this different yeah. nutrition then you're loading it up with good things like mm -hmm. we're putting mushrooms oh, onions yeah. you know a good like lettuce and different things so it's really it, it is about you know making your lifestyle interesting making it tasty because eating healthy doesn't have to be like nasty you know right. they i know it they like to call it, healthy yeah. food people like to call healthy food rabbit food but you know god didn't just intend the rabbit to be healthy he made the, the food the vegetables for us too you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying it's not rabbit food it's human right. food as well 
This is our pure seduction line up here. At least we offer, I know you've seen the KOJ gummies pop up a couple times. And these are very popular amongst the men and women within Wakanda. They all, you know, I get a lot of calls about people that, hey, stock me back up on that KOJ. I need to, I got to keep the KOJ, you know. So that's definitely, uh, you know, we got our body butters here, uh, hibiscus. Then I don't remember what flavor this is, but we do have two different scents and flavors on the um, body butters. And then these are pure seduction lubes. And actually two things that do have to be ordered through customer service. We had like a big, long story short, we had a big merchant switch. So a lot of our products that were initially like on the site, we're still working on getting everything back on. So for now, the lubes are definitely one thing that do have to be um, ordered through customer service. The G-Spot lube, that's $39.95. And then actually this is the shave oil. They don't even have the I'm sorry, guys. We have another lube that's a cherry bliss, mm -hmm. and that that one that's what I was thinking this was until I got to look at it. But yeah, this is our shave oil here. Yeah, and these make really great gifts too, you know, for um bridal showers or something like that, or to your significant other. We're talking about like you know, for Valentine's Day, they have that great special, yes. and um, it's um, like a little goes a long way and the whole bottle lasts a really long time. So yeah. it's like a really great um, investment. And, you know, we were talking about our endocannabinoid system and like what is CBD and all that kind of stuff. But you know that the female uterus has a lot of uh, receptor sites for um, CBD. So mm. um, I think it's a really great addition. Do we have cherry bliss in stock? Yes, we do. As far as I, you know, I definitely could uh verify that but i you know there's no i never got any, any indication that we were out of that so we should definitely be um plenty stocked with any all the loops and whatnot so yeah this is our disclaimer so our, none of our products are for use or by sale anybody under the age of 18 our vaping products got to be at least 20 at least 21 or older um definitely want to be consulting your doctor especially if you're pregnant or nursing, um, even if you're, you know, completely healthy, you just want to be on the same page with your doctor and just let them know, Hey, look, by the way, I do take CBD. If you're on medication, let them know you take CBD because CBD can definitely like aid in the effects of, you know, like raise, lowering your blood pressure. Well, if you're taking blood pressure meds and you're taking CBD and maybe your meds need to be adjusted, you never know. So, you really want to just, you know, be transparent with your doctor. And then again, maybe they may be waiting for you to introduce them to CBD. We got, we know Bernadine has, um, right. Yeah. But yeah Bernadine, uh, she, she shared this with her. her, her I think it was provider, like her, yeah. uh, can't remember what it was. Her yeah, nurse practitioner us, maybe. Nurse practitioner. And so that's a really great thing because you think a doctor or a nurse practitioner, they get involved, you know, like you brought them in, like that could be just a really great, um, I don't know what to call it. Yeah, uh, it's a connection. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but anyway, so that is really great. And like he said, uh, you do want to talk to your doctor about um, taking CBD products because I have to write it down because I uh, forgot but Dr. Rita has a call on Wednesdays, Wednesday, yeah. and you know, so you can ask her these questions too, but there are some medications that like, um, that CBD, I guess, can interact with. It's not very many. It's, it's very few, but still keeping that in mind. Also in the, you know, if you're, you know, have hypertension and you're taking, um, blood pressure medicines, um, it's not that they're going to interact, but if you're taking CBD, it's been shown to help lower blood pressure. And so you don't want your blood pressure to go too low. And if your doctor, you know, needs to cut down on your medication and wean you off, you know, they need to be aware of that. You're also taking something that can help with blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So it is just having open communication. Uh, you should always have a doctor that's willing to have communication with you. If your doctor doesn't want to talk to you about it that's not really a great relationship because it shouldn't be my way or the highway it should be open communication for sure that's true it's a good summary so yeah we're gonna leave it open just in case there's some new people i want to talk about some of them yeah i'm we'll leave the 
the, um, yeah, we want to hear some questions because we have so many uh, new people on this call and that's really great. We are really excited to have you. Uh, we you know we do this call every Thursday. So uh, even if you you later on think of a question, you guys are more than welcome, obviously, to come back on Thursdays and ask us um, whatever you come up with, even if we don't know the answer we are completely willing to find that answer out for you. Definitely. Yeah. And you can actually also email either one of us. I'll put that in the chat here. So that is my email. And that's Sharon's email. So if you think it's like, maybe you have something you don't really want to ask publicly, you know, you could mm -hmm. always send a chat to, I mean, send an email to either of us we'd be more than glad to actually you know what i just responded to us i sent that to host and panelists i'm glad <laughs> i looked at that that is crazy i just looked and seen it said host and panelists <laughs> we don't like, need to know we already know her <laughs> uh, maybe not there we go now we got both of those in the chat here so anybody that wants to take those down then um, definitely don't be shy. We'd be more than glad to assist. But we definitely uh, really, really appreciate everybody that came out tonight. I believe we're going to um, gonna get the kids ready for bed. We got yeah. a three-year-old begging to go to sleep. So that means he's <laughs> tired. That doesn't mean yeah. he's literally, he's it's been crazy, in here a yeah. few times like, please, guy, you put me to bed. They're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're definitely gonna yeah. Get but you know, uh, Wakana has genuinely changed our life, yeah. um, and we know that it will change your life if you haven't gotten involved. And if you have gotten involved, we know that it's, um, you know, you probably feel the same way that mm -hmm. it's you know changed your life. And you know, Wakana is definitely a movement. It's a tribe. It's um, a group of people that care about your health from so many different um, aspects. That's you know, cool. that's why we have the um, flat belly. We care about, you know, your weight loss. We know that that's tied to a lot of different health um, things. And then CBD helping with those pains, those anxieties. So we really care for you. And um, we just thank you very much for all your support. Yes, yes. Thank you guys. And see you all next week. And definitely thank you for both for sharing your life. Well, thank you for joining us and chiming in and interacting. Like, we really appreciate that. So you all have a safe and blessed week. Love each and every one of you. And hope to see you all next week. And have a good night.